We are under the bright lights tonight as MLB Network welcomes you to this presentation of Major League Baseball. We've got baseball on the 4th of July between the Minnesota Twins and the Seattle Mariners. It's a battle of elite pitchers next on MLB Network. Billy Thornton, a left-hander out of Oklahoma, will be on the mound. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, Matty V, this ought to be a lot of fun. This guy won the Cy Young Award last year in the AL, so he knows how to pitch. And one of the things he does effectively, he attacks the strike zone. And if he does that, he should be fun to watch in this one. So that'll bring in Byron Buxton. Hey, and the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Here comes the first pitch. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And up next, the outfielder, David Peralta. David Peralta. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Ball one. And fellas, you take a look at now these Seattle up. Mariners at the start of play here tonight. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Yeah, Matty B. And you know what, D-Row? Now I guess it's time where you push that go button. You're getting a little sense of urgency. They find themselves in third place. And if they want to be part of the postseason picture, it's time to get going and get going pronto. Yeah, it's taken too long for this team to carve out any identity for themselves. They're going to have to find a way to get on a roll, offensively or pitch better. Something's got to change. Now the 2-1 pitch. Aye. Ooh, that's a good pitch to take a hack at right there. Change up, up in the zone. Eh, he'd like to have that one back. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. I Working the plate is Carl Dixon. Hey, d -Row, one of the things you have to be aware of as a hitter from Carl Dixon, he'll call that high strike. Yeah, he will. So you better be on top of your game with two strikes, because if they elevate, good chance Carl Dixon's punching your ticket. Batting third, the shortstop, Jorge Polanco. Here we go, boys. So now to the plate, Jorge Polanco, as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. Bases are empty here with two men out. Popped up. Got room, you got room. Got it. And Avila will make the catch, and the side is retired. The next twin up, Brian Dozier. He's always a long ball threat, currently fourth in the American League in that department. Man, d -Row, talk about a month. This guy hit eight long balls last month. Yeah, Dan, he is locked in. I want you to focus on his bat path through the zone. He is getting it in early and staying through the baseball. That evens it up, one and one. And he looks at one in there, one and two. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. That is it. The designated hitter, Miguel. Here's Miguel Sano. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. Every time you go out there to start a game on the mound, you hope to settle in quickly and get into a groove, and he's definitely done that so far in the early going. Looks like he could go pretty deep into this one. Fastball, strike three call. The first five batters he's faced, three of them he sent down via the strikeout. The third baseman, the third baseman Mike Moustakis nope. now, as he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. He'll attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Can't get around quick enough, and that'll move the count to one and one. Hey, come on, guys. Open stance by Mustakis, and now the pitch. I got two one the count. Two down, two down. And he fouls this one off. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. 
only way he was laid on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out the side in order. Now batting, Nick Franklin, 7 8 9, bottom of the order the set to go here in the third. Hey, we're still in the Frank early Blair. stage of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. He's got it. Throw to first He's in out. time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Up next for Minnesota, Max Kepler. The right fielder, Max Kepler. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. No balls and a strike to count. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Herrera is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Now at the plate, Mitch Garver. The average for him entering play, not far north of 200. And now we got two. First delivery to him on the way. On a line, that's a base hit in the left field. Two out success, and that means Byron Buxton bats next. The center fielder, yeah, yeah, right 25, now. Byron Buxton. Here's Byron Buxton now. As he'll take a look at a strike on the outside corner, it's 0 and 1. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Awfully close with the slider there, but it's 1 and 1. Man, that's a great take right there. Backdoor slider just missed the outside corner. This guy must have a really good eye. Most guys swing at that pitch. Got him reaching there. Strike two. Garver, the runner at first, with two gone. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. This is line to left. And that'll get down out there near the wall. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. A chance at that one at all. It was over his head before he knew it. Now bouncing off the base of the wall for an easy double. Those are the kind of shots anyone would feel good about. David Peralta will stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses there. It's nothing in one. High in the air out towards shallow right. Garcia is there and he puts this one away for the third out. At the plate, Jorge Polanco, his last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop up foul. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Hey! At the ball. The 1 1 home is in there for the second strike. Little chopper back to the mound. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Now batter, the second baseman, Brian Dozier. Brian Dozier at the plate as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. Has a look, now the pitch. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. Let's turn it, come on now. No one out now. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. 
up next for the twins. So the big bat of Miguel Sano digs in next as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Drill down the line, but this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. A pause and the 0 2. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. Mike Mustakis is at the plate now and he takes a cold strike. Tying run at the plate, the 0 1. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Chasing after it is Herrera. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. Hey, no All ready to here. go in the top of the fifth. And set to go is the veteran first baseman, first baseman, Nick Franklin. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. One and one. Franklin is a guy some would regard as a defense first type of player. He excels in the field and really makes an impact on games with his glove. At the plate, however, not quite as much of a threat. Yeah, but a guy with a defensive minded skill set like this can play in the big leagues a long time. You can find ways to score runs, find ways to put the bat on the ball. You can't find guys that play defense the way he does. Now the fastball is right by. Now batting. So one away here with the bases empty, and that'll bring up the outfielder Max Kepler. Halfway to 100 pitches, here it is. Drops in a strike to start the at bat, nothing and one. Hey, come on, guys. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Around first, he's digging for second. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. Eight games is nothing to sneeze at, so you can say, hey, he's going to hold calendar week with getting at least one base hit, so there's a lot of positives going on right now. Mitch Garver stands in as he looks at ball one here. 2-0 now. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher to just go ahead and challenge him. 3-0 and to him now. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Yeah. And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's three and one. Woo. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. But this is back into the seats of foul ball. One down now, one down. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The three two one more time got him and that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ball game. The center field standing in now Byron Buxton Byron. as he takes a cold strike at the knees it's 0 and 1 a hit in two tries for him so go, far. Here's a late swing and a miss strike two. Got to believe you're going to get some tough pitches in this count with the base open at first. This is where you a swing and a miss that retires the side and that will do it. All set for the start of the inning and coming forward the veteran outfielder David Peralta. David Peralta. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Line to the right side. And a base hit, so he goes after the first pitch he sees, and he's on to open up the inning. Things right, he's keeping that front shoulder tuck, staying inside the ball, not trying to do too much. First offering on its way. Jorge Polanco stands in as he looks at a called strike. These are the moments in the game that can sway it one way or another, why you get a W or a loss right here. Leadoff man on, heart of the order coming up. Guy out on the mound, this guy's work cut out for him. At the ball. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning. Maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. Go, 
The 1-1. One, one. Hit on the ground to third. Reined in. There's Out. one. On to first to complete the double play. Ryan Dozier now. No one on base for him after the double play. The batter number yeah, and that, that two ball really changed the complexion Ryan. of this inning. It looked like the middle of the order was going to have a chance to get a big hit with some ducks on the pond, but now they just have to try and get a two-out rally started. In there, no balls and a strike. Fouled away. Looking to send him packing again. Too high. Ball. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. And he'll try to get him fishing two there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. Next will be the designated hitter, Miguel Sano. He'll be tasked with starting things as we begin the seventh. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. Swing and a miss, one and one. Well, obviously, somebody was hooting with the Owls last night. This entire roster, they've showed up for the first game of this road trip and are getting absolutely boat raced. Chopped down the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and two now. And another foul ball. Here he comes again, one, two. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strike. Mike Moustakis. Here's the pitch. Mike Moustakis is in with oh, one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. In today's game, with velocity and exploding breaking stuff, you have to find a way to control the strike zone as a unit. They haven't been able to do that today, swinging at way too many pitches outside the zone. Again, another foul ball. Bases are empty, one man out. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Here's a fastball in on the fist, and that'll even things up at two and two. Open stance by Mustakis, and now the pitch. Count remains two and two. He got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off of it. Uh, and he's just rolling right now and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ball game. That will wear on you if it lasts throughout hey, most of the right game here. like it has here. The first base. Now in the box, Franklin. Nick Franklin. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Pitch on the way. And that's inside for a ball. 1 0. Runs outside, so it goes to 2 0 now. No runs, five hits, and no errors in the ball game for Minnesota. A two ball, one strike count to the Twins' first baseman. Boy, what a time to pull the string on him. On 2-0, there's no way anyone's thinking changeup. So if you hit high and deep out to left center field, racing back the left fielder at the track. And a scaling attempt to the wall, but it'll be in vain because this ball is gone. So a solo shot here to left center field. Third home run for him on the year. And the Twins are on the board now. It's a 3-1 to one ball game. Max Kepler the next to grab a bat. The right fielder. A ball and no Max. strikes. One for two in the ball game thus far. 
ball Breaking two. ball that time that misses two out of the oh. zone. Not a great spot two to be in two. right here, 2-0, oh, but I'm not so sure why he's pitching this guy so cautiously. A bottom-of-the-order guy you don't normally see getting pitched like this. Two balls and a strike to count. Now the 2 1 pitch. He swung on and missed, and that's strike two. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready, or he's going to throw it right by you. Hot shot down the line, and this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. And now it'll kick around in the corner, and he'll coast into second here with a two out double. In now, Mitch Garver. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's working on a one for two game so far. Uh, went after the high one there, a swing and a miss. The discipline has just been completely absent from this offense. Seems like they're always finding themselves behind the count. And a big reason why is they're swinging at all kinds of stuff that's not even in the strike zone. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Byron Buxton. He leads off their half of the eighth, and they've been unable to get that starter out of the game to this point. Yeah, he settled in early on the mound, partly due to the lead his guys gave him to take some of the pressure off. He's taken that and pitched very effectively in this one. Throw to first is going to beat him, though, as they're able to thwart the bun attempt. Now batting. Now at the plate, David Peralta. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. The pitch. Eighth inning. Four to one is our score. Liner toward right center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. In now, Jorge Polanco. He's working on a one for three thus far. Jorge... Oh, and won the count. One run, seven hits, and no errors in the ball game for Minnesota. Swing and a miss, and he's in control. 0 oh, and 2. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. Hey, just you and him. Give him yourself. The 1 2. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. Garcia will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Edwin Diaz comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Edwin. I expect this series to be a battle, so to take the first game at home is definitely the way you want to start it out. Give that home crowd a reason to come back tomorrow for what will hopefully be another solid performance. A 4-1 to one finish in this evening's game. The Seattle Mariners took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Billy Thornton wins his team-leading 10th game of the year as he turns in eight strong innings of work. Edwin Diaz hammers down the save his 27th of the campaign. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and Heidi Watney on the field, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB Network. Have a good night, everybody.